UNF Morning. I'm Sarah Van Zant. This is a show that wakes you up in the AM and keeps you informed about what's happening around our beautiful campus and our city. The Oxford English Dictionary is okaying internet talk. The publication approved OMG, LOL, FYI, and even the heart symbol as new entries in its latest online update. The dictionary's online version was launched in 2000 and may eventually replace the printed version. Office supply store OfficeMax is now offering a UNF student card to help with print and copy needs. Simply present the card online or in store for special discounted pricing. The store will deliver orders over $10 paid by credit card to campus. Go to Auxiliary Services in Building 8, Room 1100 to get yours. Yesterday's weather is not something welcomed by most Jacksonville residents, but check out what's in store for us today with our daily forecast. Our status updates getting you down? The journal Pediatrics says Facebook depression is a major concern for teens who obsess over the site. Hundreds of friends and photos provide a skewed version of someone's life, and teens with low self-esteem compare themselves to this virtual reality. Doctors say while Facebook depression is real, the benefits of social media, like connecting with distant friends, shouldn't be overlooked, and those prone to depression should limit their use of the website. Today is the last day to sign up for Campus Recreation's Beach Party with Triple X. All UNF students are invited to this Saturday's event where they will learn to surf and paddleboard. Go to the Environmental Education Pavilion at Building 54, Lot 100 to get more information and sign up. There is a $5 sign up fee and a $25 entry fee. Well, the Recreation Beach Party sounds like fun, and I know March Madness is coming up, right? Yeah, we're down to the Final Four, actually, this, this weekend. All right, well, update us on some news, Sam. Will do. <laughs> With no guarantee of a football season, the Jaguars are doing whatever it takes to sell tickets. Team officials, such as former Jags player Tony Baselli and current team owner Wayne Weaver, are encouraging fans to purchase tickets for the 2011 NFL season while there is a league-wide lockout going on. Weaver says that a lack of season ticket purchases is concerning and hopes that reduced prices will encourage fans to buy. New prices for a 10-game home season range from $300 to $1,000. The UNF baseball team completed a sweep of the Belmont Bruins over the weekend, outscoring them by a combined total of 45-15. to UNF won the first game 5-4, but the big difference came in games 2 and 3, which were won by final scores of 22-2 and 16-9. The sweep brought the Ospreys back to 500 in conference play at 6-6. Six six. The Ospreys play tonight at 6 versus Bethune-Cookman, and the next conference series starts Friday as they travel to Nashville to take on the Lipscomb Bison. The NCAA men's basketball tournament is down to the last four teams, 11-seed Virginia Commonwealth, 8-seed Butler, 3-seed Connecticut, and 4-seed Kentucky. Both Final Four matchups will be Saturday, April 2nd, with Butler and VCU playing at 6.09 and Kentucky facing UConn at 8.49. And both games will be on CBS. VCU and Butler are the highest combined seeds to play in a Final Four game in the history of the NCAA tournament. This is also the first time there has not been a number one or two seed in the, in the national semifinals. The absence of a number two seed means that it was not a happy weekend for Gator fans. Butler was able to make it to the Final Four by beating Florida 74-71 in overtime in their Elite Eight match. Butler outscored the Gators 14-11 in the overtime session after it was Florida who won in overtime over BYU to advance to the Elite Eight. Well, that's all I have for sports. Back to you, Sarah. With those good prices, it sounds like we should go and support the Jaguars. Yeah, hopefully they can get some good turnouts this year, and hopefully there actually will be a football season at all. Yeah, hope so. <laughs> Also, please note that the Rodney Atkins concert that had originally been set for the Coxwell Amphitheater is now taking place in the UNF Arena on Thursday. For more information, visit the Osprey Productions Facebook page. Thank you for joining us this morning. See you next time, Jacksonville.